thank you. The snow coming down hard and the city's operations manager says the Syracuse snowplow fleet is ready to go to keep the roads safe and clear. But if a truck breaks down, there could be trouble during the next storm. We continue our weather team coverage tonight live with our Connor White. Connor? Megan, this snow pile that I'm standing on right here obviously didn't all come down just today. This is the winter season's worth of snow pushed up by snow plows from the road. And as you can see here at the Shop City Shopping Center here in Syracuse, snow starting to stick to the roads. Snow plow is going to be out in force. That's plan A for Syracuse DPW to get everything up tonight. Plan B might be a little difficult to accomplish thanks to the supply chain. Nicholas Henry. Back behind the wheel for Syracuse's sidewalk snow removal program, suspended last year under financial pressures from COVID. This is a, a big project for us that we enjoy doing. This season, JSK Snow Services is hitting up to 100 miles worth of sidewalks with these plows, keeping their fingers crossed that everything will keep running smoothly. Lately, we've been having tire shortages. That's very difficult to get our hands on iron at the moment. Believe it or not, a lot of diesel fuel stations no longer sell diesel. When we need something, there's a huge delay. Supply chain shortages make minor repairs a big problem. And he says getting totally new plows would be nearly impossible. We were told that we bought the last remaining three machines in the U.S. when we purchased them. Uh, as of right now, the order time is unknown due to the inability to get stuff shipped at the moment. Syracuse Public Works facing the same problem. This week, going to the Common Council to approve the purchase of four new trucks not set to arrive anytime soon. The snow plows that we buy now, we probably won't see until the winter of 2024. I mean, Corey Driscoll Dunham, the city's chief operating officer, says they're in good shape for now after getting 10 new plows on the road in 2020. Now operating with 22 trucks, but the city is looking to retire five of them in the next two years. We do need to new, do need to replace a number of the trucks but it's just knowing that the order that we place today, we're not going to see for 18 to 24 months unless something really changes in terms of supply. Personnel also a bit of an issue. Driscoll Dunham says in terms of drivers, they're okay, but they're down 10 mechanics for the city of Syracuse over at JSK Snow Services. They say they're operating with about 70% of the staff they'd like to have, but even still, they consider themselves lucky. For some people, the biggest snowstorm of the season wasn't enough to cancel their evening plans. Our Samantha Croston found those souls out at the Euclid restaurant in Clay. It's a hearty bunch out that way, uh, Samantha. Well, so just earlier today, the streets that you see that are now relatively empty were completely full earlier on. And we wanted to show you exactly how high the snow is now. This is called the Samantha Cross and Leg Test. Just made it up tonight. Granted, I have pretty long legs, but at the highest peak right now, we're seeing it's about shin deep. And we'll check back in on that at 11. But right now, the snow is falling down. It has been for the past couple of hours. And the ride earlier that normally takes around 20 or so minutes, it actually took about 30. Thanks to some snowy conditions that made the roads icy and the steering wheel difficult to control. Visibility also getting lower as the night goes on. And earlier today, I was here at Euclid Restaurant, where at around 7 p.m., more than 15 people were in that bar. I checked in with two of them who have very different backstories but feel the same way about the snow. Isaac Cowington is a CNY native with decades of snowy winters under his belt. Dylan Martin is spending his first winter in upstate. State New York after 20 years of winters in warm and sunny Florida. Ironically enough, both men are wishing they were back in the Sunshine State right now. The inconvenience is just driving. Like it, it's it's you know it sucks to drive in the snow. Like I've never done that before. It sucks to when you walk out your front door and you just fall and you bust your butt because you know you're not used to walking out and being with ice and stuff like that or walking out and it's snowing. You said you hate the snow. Where are some places you'd rather be? Orlando, Florida. I want to be with Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. <laughs> I love that quote so much. And now just, just coming back for right now from Clay, we saw that there were already three trucks and two cars off on the side of the road, already having fallen victim to these harsh conditions. So just a word to the wise for anyone outside driving to be careful.
PBS 5 this morning. Doctors making house calls may be making a comeback. The practice made popular in the 1930s is now being modernized for a pandemic world. This is becoming particularly useful for children with parents waiting to keep, wanting to keep their kids, that is, from exposure to COVID-19 in waiting rooms at doctor's offices or urgent cares. I sat down with one of these doctors to discuss how her service is relieving some of the strain on doctors and hospitals and giving Central New York parents peace of mind. Hippity Hot Pete's house call service, Dr. Gomez speaking. She's a one-woman band, Dr. Tashika Gomez. Her office, anywhere she can answer her phone. What time and date would you be available? Two years ago, Dr. Gomez started Hippity Hop Peds Pediatric House Call Services, jumping around central New York to go to families instead of them coming to her. A lot of parents are getting, um, waiting three to four hours to be seen just for minor things such as, you know, headaches, stomach aches at the urgent cares, ERs, even um, having to be pushed out a couple of days at their primary care office. The strain the pandemic puts on the health care system is not felt by her house call business. In fact, Dr. Gomez is relieving the pressure. And again, good. And one more. Perfect. Seeing calls triple compared to two years ago, giving parents the choice to keep their kids away from other sick kids in waiting rooms. And as a mother herself, she says she knows the importance of convenience. Just having that service of not having to bundle up their kids or not having to take time off from work, they can have someone just come right over. It's just been a blessing to a lot of families. Gianna Whitcup is a client. Dr. Gomez comes to see her two little boys. Not even just COVID, but like the flu, you know, even common colds like bronchitis or whatever. Um, nobody wants to bring their kids around that. So now Whitcup chooses house calls with Dr. Gomez. With a lot of doctors, I feel like they have a place to be always because they're so busy and they, they really don't, just don't have enough time for everybody. Um, but Dr. Gomez, she didn't rush it. She was... Um, very gentle and just very caring. Are you eating dinosaurs? No. It seemed like it. They're growling in there. It's, it's my tummy. It feels awesome to give back to the community. It feels awesome to see how going from just being, uh, you know, a child to an adult and being able to provide a service to my community, to um, my fellow people. House calls, some may think are outdated, but maybe it's just what the doctor ordered. Bringing it from the past to the future with a modern twist is going to be extremely important. I think it's making a comeback even stronger in this time, and I'm here for it. You can be a family in Cayuga, Oswego, Oneida, or Onondaga County. Dr. Tashika Gomez will come to you, and she's building her business even more, adding schools and sports teams to the list of her clients. You can find Hippity Hop Peds hours of operation and how to contact Dr. Gomez on our website, cnycentral.com.